Hey, what's up? The Brew Dude's back here with another beer. Today we have Strand Brewing Company, a local beer to me. I'm in Los Angeles, California, and this is a Los Angeles County beer. This is nestled by Santa Monica and the mountains in that area. It's called Stan Strand Brewing Co. Company, premium handcrafted L's. This is a Beach House Amber L. Our way from grain to glass, Beach House Amber L, small batch unfiltered. This is a uh, one pint nine fluid ounces, uh, five percent alcohol by volume. Has a cool little uh, label and everything to it. You know, sleek kind of. I don't know. I've seen these bottles a lot in German beers. Um, this is the label. It has a nice little pier. And then if you want to read a book. Right in the back, my favorite when drinking beer. Let's drink this and read a book. Cause that's exactly what I think about. Okay. This is an amber ale. Just smelling from the bottle, smells more like a pale ale, which is amber ale is just that next step up. What they do is use a little bit more uh, roasted grain to achieve that, that crystal malt to achieve that just bit next flavor of pale ale you know that next step okay smells pretty good let's pour it nice um well it's a lighter amber than i'm used to i mean it is amber so you're gonna have that lighter kind of little dark pale l um oh this is gonna overflow because i was kidding good pour Nice uh, 10 head, big bubbles. Looks like it's breaking down really fast. It holds itself a little bit, and then it kind of breaks down. I know the oils in my fingers help it break down, but it, I usually use that to tell how thick the head is. Uh, amber color for sure. Very clear. Doesn't look, it's, is it filtered? It says unfiltered, so. Uh, you know what? I don't know what the hell they. It says unfiltered, but wow. It's clear as everything to me. I mean, and there's no sediment at the bottle of this. So I don't know what, what type of uh, aging process they use. They probably just let it sit in like really cold temperature and it sat and they racked it into uh, you know, a bottling uh, vessel or something. Enough said, let's drink. Smell. I smell a little sweetness, malt. When people say malt forward, what happens is there's fermentable sugars that are extracted or converted from a malt. And then there's some there's some starches and some malts that when I mean malt is like barley malt and stuff that are not fermentable, that provide body rather than fermentable sugars to create alcohol volume. So this one here, it's very malty. So it smells sweeter because a lot of sugars weren't probably able to ferment off. So it keeps the beer smelling a certain way and feeling a certain way the body so let's see if uh, the smell and the body kind of go together yes they do so this is about a medium bodied beer medium to just a notch under medium the flavor actually is a little bit i get definitely some some grain, kind of like Cheerios aftertaste. Um, I can taste some noble hops in there, some spicy noble hops. Because that style that they're using with amber, they use a little crystal malt. I get a tad bit of roastedness, just a small amount. Um, not highly carbonated, just right. It's 
it's actually pretty uh pretty good it's a little watery you know just not watery as in thin but dull a little bit it doesn't ha it, it it like when you drink it It doesn't, it doesn't reach the top, you know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't hit that, whatever that term is. It like, it's going up flavor, 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 then it gets mid range and it just starts leveling out and then it finishes very kind of dull. It is 5% alcohol, which is right there. You know, it's not too high. It's not too low. Um, you can drink a few of these and be fine, or just a cup, maybe one of these, and you'll be cool. Cool. It is brewed in small batch. It's okay beer. It's, it's a good upgraded pale ale. You know, that amber. It just took the next step to amber. Um, it's not the best amber ale that I've had. But it's not the worst, you know. Bitterness. Bitterness is usually measured in IBUs, international bitter units. But I'm just going to measure it in either low, medium, high. Bitterness is low. which makes it tolerable to some people that don't like bitter bitter beers like IPAs, stouts, uh, and, and in some cases, some porters and some other random beers that people just put so much hops in and boil them for a long time to get all those hop oils and resins to just, you know, destroy your palate. It's pretty low. Um, it's not bad. Strand Brewing Company, nestled in Santa Monica, Santa Monica Mountains in that area. Beach House Amber Ale, small batch, unfiltered. Uh, got this from Bevmo for a few bucks as well. Um, it's a good beer. I won't probably won't go buy it on my own just because I want to have it. I but if somebody did get it for me, I would drink it. If somebody if we had it, I'd drink it. Um, like I said, I usually don't grade, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a grade for the amber ale. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a B plus for an amber ale. Um, that's really it. <coughs> Burps are a must. With that said, the brood dude is out.